Hey, Steven, I uh, I watched the movie last night and I hit up Donald and I told him that he did a great job playing the role of, of someone who was in a wheelchair and a veteran and a teacher because you and him share a scene where you, you're you just a real prick with him, you know what I mean? And it just kind of shows the effects of your childhood and generational abuse that just continues. Yep. Was there ever a point in your life where you kind of had to rearrange your priorities and figure out, okay, what is it that makes me happy and how do I keep focused on that? Yeah, I mean, I think many times, you know, there was it was hard to, for me, it was hard to kind of grow up in, you know, in L.A. I mean, it was a beautiful, I was lucky to have a family that loved me. and But there were times where I was, um, you know, even as a kid where I wasn't doing good in school, I was kind of a an upset child. I had such a nice upbringing and a nice home life. And at the same time, I was kind of angst and kind of just looking for what it was that I wanted to do. And it was frankly acting that I think saved me because through, through acting and through kind of working with adults as a kid and separating from the, the norm of, of just every day kind of going to a private school in Hollywood and, you know, da 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 and being like everybody else, I found my niche. And once my mom kind of saw that I was good at it, she, uh, she really supported me. She just asked that I do better in school and not be rude to my teacher. So I was like, okay, so I can, <laughs> I can act and go on auditions if I'm, if I'm better in school. And she's like, yes, you can. And then I was like, boom, you know, and I immediately focused into being a better student and doing what my mom needed me to do. But, you know, I mean, cash on the flip side comes from a totally different upbringing. You know, he was beaten up by his dad his whole life. He was taught to become this, ferocious animal that he's become in this cage and become this fighter that commands 8 million pay-per-views of a fight. And he's a beast. He's a businessman. And there are scenes where you, I think, go, wow, he is smart and he is a nice guy. And then there's scenes where you're like, this guy's a hillbilly that is living in some other world because who the hell treats people like this and who the hell says these things? So it was a character that I found very difficult to play because I'm not cash. Uh Um, I don't have a lot in common with him, but it was a brilliant screenplay. And to me, my job is to become different people. You know, it was uncomfortable, though. I was happy when it was in the can and I could move on. And um, because I don't think I was the nicest guy while making the film either. You know, Uh it Uh was a it was a place I had to go that was I would just say the best word was uncomfortable. You know, the movie works because of the cast and because of the supporting cast and the filmmaking. But, um, yeah, I'm real proud of uh, of everybody's work in this.